Hi, this is Hans, W1JSB with Radio Set Go. And I wanted to share my latest project. Uh, it's the Elecraft KX2 Retrofit Conversion. Uh, I built this into a Pelican box, much like uh, the previous uh, UKITS HB1B transceivers. So it's in the same size Pelican box, uh, compact, easy to carry. Um, this weighs three pounds. Now, the Elecraft KX2 is an amazing transceiver. There's hardly much that can be improved on it, so it was difficult to figure out what I could even do to make it better. Um, but I did find a few things. Um, a lot of times when people buy this transceiver, they have to figure out what type of a container they want to use to transport it, whether they want to take it hiking or to the park. And a lot of people choose a Pelican box like this, and they just use the padded uh, stuff inside uh, so I figured why not just build it in so it has a permanent home inside of there that's protective and um, is easy to use. Uh, I am no longer using Lexan sheet I am using anodized aluminum that this one has etched labeling with infills um, so it matches the transceiver quite nicely. Um, I've added two front-facing speakers that are many times uh, the volume of the internal speaker of the KX2 and it has a stereo amplifier so it preserves the uh, dual frequency watch feature. Um, I should say dual, free, dual receive. Uh, and you can see the fold-away microphone here, which fits nicely. I include that. Um, let's see. So to power on the accessories, the audio amplifier, the zero beat indicator, which is the LEDs across the top. I know that the KX2 already has something much like that, but I compare that sort of a... This is an analog system that's much faster in response, uh, and it just looks nice, so... I figured it would be a nice uh, addition. Uh, doesn't obviously doesn't have the the front mounted mechanical key. That's been replaced by the side mounted uh, capacitive touch key system, which are these two end caps. So um, no issues with uh, the contacts getting dirty or anything like that, or any mechanical failure. Uh, this is, once you get used to this, it's a very fast and responsive way of keying. Um, so all of the original KX2, um, abilities are preserved and enhanced. All of the controls, all of the jacks are simply extended. So what you would see on the side of the radio is available here on this side. Um, nothing had to be taken apart in the radio. It's, um, sort of plug and play. There are four um, places that connect the radio to the panel, and it can be reversed, so it's uh, non-commitment. If you wanted to install this and you decided you didn't like it, you could um, take the transceiver out and there would be no damage to the radio, so to speak, or anything that uh, would leave any um, anything that looks like it had been modified. Um, what else? It's pretty simple. Obviously you have your 12 to 14 volt DC, which will um, power the radio and the, the transceiver itself switches between whatever has more voltage, either the internal battery, which by the way is still a, um, about a two amp hour lithium ion rechargeable. Um, I may be able to double that capacity. I'm looking into that option, which would be very nice. Um, so that you can plug in there and then you can charge the internal battery with this other jack here. And the toggle switch uh, powers the accessories, the zero beat indicator, the audio amplifier, and the touch key here. And that has two positions. So power external, flip it up, off in the middle position, power down, is running these accessories on the internal battery. So I'll go ahead and fire this up.
turn the radio on the same way you would. Uh, we're going to need an antenna, so we plug in here the BNC around 20 meters, hearing signals right away. Uh, let me uh, put this into dummy load and show you the keying. You can see it translates quite nicely. Um, the keying is good. The volume is amazing. That's one of the best enhancements of this. Um, I'd say many times uh, the volume and clarity of the built-in speaker, the KX2. Um, I'll go ahead and switch back to the antenna and tune around so you can see the zero beat indicator. I'll change the tuning step. Hmm, not hearing a whole lot now. Of course, right, as I uh, want to do a video. I really do like the feature um, that the transceiver has. If you press this knob, when you hear a signal, it will zero beat automatically. So you can see uh, it brings it right over to the central blue LED. Sometimes it takes a few presses for it to lock on, depending on the signal strength, but it works quite well. Uh, let's see, what else to show you? or say about this. Um, it is, uh, because the control panel is aluminum, uh, it should help in dissipating the heat, especially the way that it's mounted. On this side, it has a secure connection. Uh, if there is uh, overheating issues, I'm gonna look into some options for that, possibly a built-in fan with uh, variable speed control uh, with the temperature sensing um, but yeah other than that i i hope to have uh to build a few more of these myself and be able to uh, make some instructions and have all the parts available that people can buy um, a kit so that they can do it themselves at home uh, uh oh, one other thing i wanted to say that the um uh the touch keyer is actually using the same connection as the or the uh, front-mounted mechanical key would. So if you wanted to plug in another key here, like the straight key I have, it uses um, its own keying circuit, so to speak. I'll go back to the dummy mode, dummy load mode. Okay, so so we have iambic keying there with the touch keyer. And in the settings, I have a street key or a hand key option. So so it's nice to have the two options if you want to switch between different uh, ways of keying. Um, I think that's it. Uh, you will be able to buy this kit uh, on my website which is uh, being re-created um, right now. I'm making it more um, mobile friendly and shop oriented. And that's radiosetgo.com, radiosetgo.com. Uh, thanks for watching, 73W1JSB out.